Hi there, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the stream. Hope you had a nice holiday. I'm glad to have you here. So, we're picking back up with Lost Constellation. Hi, Aubrey. I Mori asked if I could give us a refresher of what's going on because she got dozy near the end and like I I don't know if I could give a refresher because I don't exactly understand what everything that's going on we uh, we pretended to be an empress to gain uh, passage to see the god of the forest and we had like a ghost dog and a ghost drunk help play the parts of our like retainers and then the bear who was guarding it the god the god tender is what they call them I um, was like, oh cool, you could pass, but I can't let you see the, the god of the forest because he's sick. Sad face. Oh, we get down. And so, he's like, but I can give you the blessing of the god of the forest on his behalf. I'll do that now. Okay, you're blessed. And so then we went and, if you're gonna jump up here, jump up here. Just stay in my lap. Um, then we went and there was a witch in a house. Well, we call her a witch. I don't know. She had it. She was like the hunched whatever that had been fighting with the god of the woods, apparently. At least I'm assuming that was her. Um, we broke into her house. She had a kidnapped kid in there. Um, and we stole a thing. It was actually a tattoo. From her twin sister, who died, and we like revived her via snowman magic, and it was an awkward experience. We 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 made an awkward situation. Yeah, there was a rat, a big rat. She yelled at us, and then we and then we took her most precious belonging and uh, used it to summon the ghost of her dead sister, apparently. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah, she keeps the, she kept the tattoo in the shrine in her house. It was it was weird. The hunter did. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing now. But that's that. Oh, we we met it. We met a king and his his traveling people who are also trying to get to the place we're headed to. And then that's it. I think. I don't think we did anything else beyond that. It is kind of Golden County. Yeah, we're trying to get to the frozen lake. I don't know why. To meet with someone, I think. Because I remember she said something about, like, I will see her again, or something. I already read this dialogue. Yeah, the right lady yelled at us for giving ourselves for giving ourselves a stupid last name.
I love our little teeths. Hey! Hey you, still alive, eh? I just saw all of the trees give a great shudder. Like they were falling into line. And then you walked up. I think the way is open to the frozen lake. What do you think about that? I think you should wrap up any business you have and head east as quickly as possible. Hmm, what business would I still have? I wouldn't pretend to know. Can we talk to our screaming child? Is our screaming child still here? Yeah, there they are! There's our precious boy! Are you gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky. We named it Sticky, apparently. We might be really close to the end, I don't know. You know, I, I gather we probably are. So most of this night will be bees root stuff, but... Oh, longest night so long- OH LOOK IT'S THE CAT! Hello. Hey cat, figured I'd see you here. You figured right! You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed you did it once. I love this cat. You are such an ass. You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't mean to, just passing through. Isn't that always the way? So who are you really? Pardon? You some magical cat? Cat god? Cat wizard? Something? I'm just a cat. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh. Your turn. Who are you? I am a survivor! I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. Well, that's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. The hunter, her child, the forest god. Those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You are in the fair forest. I'm an astronomer. It may be the forest, but it's under my sky. Oh, maybe their forest, but it's under my sky. <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. Goodbye, Adina the Astronomer. Good luck. Goodbye, cat. 
Happy longest night. doubted you would make it. A promise is a promise. How is home? Same as ever. Colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the 5th Street Bridge again on Longest Night Eve. <laughs> the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't. So ask. Okay. Did you find the ghost star? I did. My first night dead. It's there. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can't, not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something, at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away, there's this thing, bigger than I could think about, burning away, exploding. Oh, the rays are reflected in the lake, you're right. And between us is this sheet of black. And when I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I'm getting some Heaven Will Be Mine vibes now. This reminds me of some dreams I've had now and then, seeing a celestial body up close and feeling overwhelmed by its presence. That sounds like a cool, if intimidating, dream. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name, and we give ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection. And the connection, that becomes the thing we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you died. I'm going to miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you got a star out of it. That's something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. 
Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happened to you. And that's something. Something, something, something. I want to find that constellation. Go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? You look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Nifty, I liked it a lot. Give me a whole bunch of things about Adina, and I'd be, you know, about this setting. There they are, my precious children! All of my good, good boys and girls and dog. That's cool. There are these two weird bright lights over the horizon. I thought it was a plane, unless it was a UFO. Yeah, you think of being a UFO when you're if you're bad at identifying objects. That's true. Very true. Alright, so last time we ruined a party for, uh... We ruined a party for B. And we failed to get a number of a cute girl who gave did a secret handshake with us. This isn't the dialogue I was hoping for. I want you to move the boxes, Dad. I don't want to talk about feelings. Yeah, this writing is oof. Oof, man. You're out. Don't pull no punches. I love this May face. Takes out a restraining order against this game. Cause it's getting too close.
We always miss the good parts. I want to see them contact the dead. Go up the stairs. Yeah, it's it's rough. Rough stuff. Learning about Angus's past was rough stuff too. Hey you. Hey me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah. On the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really takes it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice of me. That you did that. I parkoured for you, B! In the Contacting the Dead segment, they just make snowmen and decorate them. Ah, of course. Ah, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Cute. Hey, kid! Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. Alright, is this the day we use the other... The second of the... Plot things? I can't remember. The, the ghost hunts? Pickaxe at it, me. You know the drill. There was no need to thank me for being there. You can't get her to leave. That's true. What up, bird? She's like a bad rash. Things are, like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Still thinking about this one up here in the corner? With, like, a cape and sword?
Jumping on these power lines is my favorite thing in this game. <laughs> hey, get down from those power lines! Yeah. Oh god. What do you want? I like that there's dialogue if you're running on the power lines when you run into her like this. That's good. That was pretty good timing. That's one of those things that would be good to clip. I don't know how to- I, I think I've clipped a couple things on Twitch before. I can't jump on the cop car. I like that. Oh my god, the rats are down here now. God, they're spreading so far. I love it. They're all the way down here! We have overrun this town with rats. Freaking hilarious. Let's just go check in on the, all of our rats and see see how that's going. Cause I noticed like yeah they're like, up here and stuff, but they're all the way down in the other screen too, which is I'm I'm so glad. I love it. <laughs> we we've caused we've caused a lot of terrible things. Way to go, May! We've made a big mess. Nothing to say here. Just check it on you. I'm delighted. <laughs> We've single-handedly created a vermin infestation in Possum Springs. Hi, Joe! Whoa. Whoa. 
Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Doing alright! How are you? We're glad to have you. I guess we'll do the graveyard bit since it's a little faster, I think. Speed run through a graveyard. Hey, B? Yeah, sorry again about last night. Ah, uh, it's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social! It sure is. Oh man, got bigfollows.com right off the bat. Sorry, I feel bad powering through. But like... Oh, this is the part where we... Where we tell ghost stories. <laughs> and B is like, The economy! A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing! And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. I'm already famer. I'm already femur. B did lose her childhood home, yes. Um, that indeed she did. Oh yeah, that's right. She she couldn't get me into dinosaur class. That's why she took the class on death and dying.
Can't really be sad about this. She had a really good run. Like, if life was an arcade game, this would be on the high score screen. Oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. This is next one is the one with the bike, I think. Can I just ignore that guy? I can't. I can just ignore him. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He was hit by a bike. He crashed his bike. Oh uh, yeah, I bet it was like he was racing to his sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town. And he took a dangerous curve too fast. He went flying off a cliff. And his last words whispered into the rain. In midair, were actually I love my bike more. Please put it on my grave, okay? Do I have to talk to you? I think I might have to talk to you. Can we talk about... Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? No, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of a place. Oh yeah, it's time for the weird teens. Let's answer the opposite of what we answered last time to all the teens' questions. Let's get a new embarrassing May story, yes! The colors here are really nice, I like it too. I like the music here. Regardless of what you answer, May has can canonically not 
Done. Hit. You heard me. How old are you, teens? Answer! Yes. It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. <laughs> okay. Wrestling. All right, this moment time we're gonna go to see wrestling. Yeah, they buy us tickets. They? Guy or gal, I'm not picky. And we drive out to Hucklesburg, to the convention center, and we watch Unstoppable Hasty versus the Impending Kronk. And eat corn dogs. Oof, I could eat a corn dog right now. I don't watch wrestling. I do. It's great. Nobody cares. What do you want from me? Um, I think we did the junior high one last time. Because she had just got her period. I'm kind of curious about college. What do you think? No, high school, I don't know. May doesn't seem like she'd have very many good college stories. Alright, high school it is. I went to prom with this guy, Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting this story for years. It was awkward and I had to wear a dress. I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm showing these paper towels into his mouth. And I ever do it and he starts choking and like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm like plowing through these almonds. And one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver. And it works, but, but, I puke all over coal. Chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees coal dazed and bleeding and choking. And me puking into the sink. 
So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. For some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet. And that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? That kid, Josh, who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving to my house. Cars slowing down and honking. While I'm on the back, crying my eyes out. <laughs> May! <laughs> Goodness gracious, May! Hey, I... I... I have nightmares about it, like, once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. It's incredible that he talked to you at the party, that's true. He was like... Real chill about it too. Cole seems like a pretty cool, a pretty good guy, yeah. Let's say yes. It's hard to like recognize anyone. But you can get a sense of people. And uh, I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know she's somewhere. And okay. She's somewhere, B. And okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying, or you dreamed it, or what. But even if you just made all that up, it was nice of you. Alright, anyway. Let's break in this gate. The kind of forbidden knowledge will make you go mad that Eldritch Tomes warn you about. I missed. I don't remember how I get back up there. There we go.
I was jumping on the wrong branch. Bring the don't blame the damage on a zombie. The weird little lights here are interesting. In the graveyard! Like what? Graves! Thank you, May. This is valuable, valuable work you're doing. Yards of them. Wakey wakey little Joe! Open a coffin! Open a coffin, we're gonna open a coffin. <laughs> we got more uh, Mr. Miranda situation going on here. I like that, that's a nice little throwback there. I like the little the little touches this game has for you know, references past things you've done and stuff. Right? The continuity is nice.
me. Three years old down to the slide like that. Oh, my head. Jeez. Ugh. Let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills and we can get you home. Airplane ears. That's a good way to put it. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Go get in the car. I forgot that happened in the second one. Thanks for like coming. I have no idea. Well, there's a ghost, and it's after me. so cute. I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. And because you say some really cute things. It's not even ghost hunting season. Uh, uh. Believe in the me who believes in you, who believes in ghosts. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. <laughs> he, has, he has a different opinion because he wasn't attacked by one. Also cool in the continuity where you are attacked by them, yes. No donut wolf in this playthrough.
Oh yeah, they did say that Bee loaned him their car because she chickened out of a party. That's right. So we helped her go to the party even though we uh, kind of ruined it a little. Old stuff. So old. Probably would have had more success without many, but friendship, yeah. Alright, time for some cult shenanigans! You screw it up, Lerv. Need some juice. So we didn't get shot at. I mean, we, did, we got shot at. We didn't get shot. But we did take quite a tumble. I played this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm, I like go over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at the smarty. This is different dialogue than we had last time. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow.
Maybe brownies and maybe lasagna. I found one in the freezer. Are she like scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Ah, uh, no more than anyone else. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. Uh, big guy, dirty coat. Or several, they could swap out. I can't tell. Their eyes are real big. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. It was a stressful time, senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. I'm so tired. I could like curl up on their bed like a whole living area under there. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm... Wait, everybody shut up. What? A communal dirty coat. There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Meanwhile! May Borowski. You took quite a tumble. God, I did not miss limping, limping uh, May. So slow. Slow walking sequence. Every game has these days has one, does it really? That's how you stretch out the playing time. I suppose that's true.
Usually you're forced to walk slowly as dialogue plays out. Mm, mm. I can see that. Come on, come on. Bye, Joe. Have a good evening. Oh. Selmers isn't here in this version. This is a world without Selmers. Because we didn't really make friends with Selmers. A world without Selmers poems. Oh yeah, there's no Lori either. Or Mr. Chazikov. And then there's this goat that we never actually see. It's kind of sad. Always fixing a door. What if this is the black goat the cultists were talking about? Maybe. Just some guy, doesn't need kid sacrifice to him. A good pierogi would be fine. B. Oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May. 
It's me. God, I love, I love Greg. from providing that video game ASMR. Don't police our lifestyle, B. just holding out their slices. Why are you all just holding out your slices? He seems so tired there. So slow. Wild week, huh? Whenever we get out of this, I don't know if we'll get out of this. Well, even if we don't and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Sorry, I realized that this was dialogue we hadn't had before. Since we had actually hung out with, with him all week. Neil. What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnarl 3. He's probably been really bored not doing any crimes. Living on the straight and narrow.
got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. If there's ever a prequel, I'd like to see more about Casey. Me too. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Cool, I'll be right out. Oh man, did we get to talk to, uh, to be about, about our, about our thing this time? Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. Bye, germ! Cool. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cohen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... Germ! Germ just taking turn! There's not any weirdos following me! See ya! I was playing this video game, and you were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. I played it like 24-7 until this one afternoon and suddenly like something broke. Indeed, we got May and B on the couch. To the Greg. Anyone who catches germ will regret it. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters on screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lives were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I'd just lost these real people. This whole thing we had. It was just... Me. Alone. And like that realization dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. There was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. Man. Though not quite the same way. I, I, ha I have those feelings where I become aware of everyone else being like sentient beings. Everyone carrying out their own lives. And it freaks me out a little bit whenever it happens. Where I, when I become hyper aware of that. That we're all just weird flesh cre creatures ambling about, carrying on our own lives with our own thoughts and brains and feelings. It's weird, man. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. It's like not being aware of it is protection. Yeah, kinda. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's... Huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. 
just lines someone wrote, like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry, and I just, I don't know, before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Bright shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. He made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of said it would be able to help get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? Evolution wouldn't have prepared any animal for having as much awareness of stuff as we do now. Yeah. It's all shapes, like back at the softball game, whenever I go to a new place. I was doing my college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside of, or around people alone. And there was a statue, like the founder or something. Blah, 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 blah. You've read all this before. Jeez. I don't mean to be like whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering for some suffering from some serious stuff. And like I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And a half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this, and then, then shh, it's gonna be okay. Dr. Hank should also drop dentistry from what I've heard, yeah. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I bet Dr. Hank is a duck. Cause he's a quack? Yeah. Oh, it makes sense. Don't you yawn, you'll make me yawn. What? What? Oh, oh, Obi. Come on, bud. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole.
And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B. You okay? You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? She has all the tools she needs for disassembly. I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. It was because of me. Oh, you had a dream? Is that how we're making decisions now? I'm sure all that's happened, yeah? Hey, kiddo, we're out here, outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off in the woods to die. No, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? Well, that's cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <laughs> that sounds okay. By me. Oh, B. All right, let's go do something really stupid. We could like block it shut or something. Ah, oh, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever, it's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang! Be what are you doing? Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. <laughs> oh, cute! A throwback to the party talk! Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. This is such a cute throwback! I love it!
The nearest mode is, road is like a mile away. Yeah. Out of this together. Awesome spring tours of the apartment. Come check out our mine. Well, here we are. <coughs> are you okay? I have my inhaler. I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. You should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna play after this. I haven't really given it any thought. I probably should, since we're probably going to wrap this up tonight. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'll ponder on it. I've got like a week. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. This is such a good game. I'm really glad I played it. I know we're not done yet, but it just bears mentioning. You know, I haven't tried messing with the new Amnesia game since I since um, October. I, I could try booting that up and see how, how it runs. If we, if there's any luck, maybe they made a patch or something. Maybe I'll give that a go. Well, you can if you like, but you don't. You don't gotta. I'm sure I could. I could find something. But you know, I, I I'll never turn down the the. Uh... Yeah, there's there's surely something in the bundle we can play. Chock full of things. It's dark.
Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Wait, so are you the hunter that, that shot? I still think bunch of bothers me a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. New. So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. Blah, 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 blah. We'll try the cop line this time. See what happens. He's already in there singing to you, right? First one into the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him.
Yes, 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 yes. I guess I should say for the record, if you're watching this video and you're wondering why I'm skipping everything, I mean, I guess if you if you've watched this video, I would hope that you'd watch the others first. But if you just stumbled across this video and you want to actually read all the dialogue, you can check out the earlier streams where I actually read through all of this stuff. Why shouldn't we just call the cops and say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run? That you saw a hole? So hey, do you want to try failing the part where the the quick time event where we have to kick him off? You want to see what happens? I kind of want to know what happens. I missed what B said, sorry. It's just horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Yeah, it probably saves right beforehand. Old, old stuff in here. I... Oh god! Oh 
Okay, so apparently it does it regardless of whether or not we, uh, we kick him. Just traps his head first, other, you know, otherwise. Yeah. I, I thought it was gonna take his head clean off. But apparently we only, in the end, only got his arm. May, May, are you okay? May, say something. May? Shh, it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. Yikes, though. Okay, well, that's a relief. Was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Teamwork. Man, though, his head. Oof. All right, time to have a weird experience. And get back to walking straight. means I am something at least. Pretty amazing to be something at least. Sorry about the clicking sound, that's my surge protector.
time for jumps. Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way, suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. A brochure. No, that doesn't really matter because I'm even less up for us starving to death. Aw, dude. Thanks, May. That's very nice of you. It's assuming I can even do this. Hey, don't mess with my tablet. Put it in here so you can't get it. Oops. Oh man, I just forgot. I I wanted to do the because uh, you have extra dialogue in the ending bit if you talk to if you do the stuff with Germ and the stuff with Lori. And we didn't do that this time, so we won't get that with B. Sorry. I mean, I assume that we would have it in B's route as well. We have it in Greg's route. Hey, handsome. There goes a weird, weird guy. Would you swat at me?
I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. No, no. I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and it dropped into it. You're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are kept me from flowing off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Oh well. Oh. Not just because I love you but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. They would steal tools for you, Lee. Hey, man. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. They can probably be doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Stars. Never did get it cleaned out. No tooth this go around. Stop it, Obi. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. Got time and the cozy months are coming.
Okay, okay. Chill out. I don't want to talk. I gotta talk. It's been, I just, I, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, oh, Mom. I don't even know if I could tell you why. I'll understand, I promise. I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me. Now, now, Obi. It's not time yet. We gotta get to the ending. We're almost there. Oh yeah, was there something we needed to do? Some sort of payoff for rats? Did we just hype mind asking about rat payoff, Boogie? Because that's great if so. I'm disappointed I wasn't on the rooftop. I mean, I wasn't on the things for it this time. Up on the power lines. We'll find out if there's that payoff. It's a rat in their stocking for longest night. Rats! There's one right there! Hey there!
there's rat payoff beyond this, I don't know what it is. She waves. Goodbye, my little precious rats. Weird that there's like this little step down here too. What is that for? Why is it like that? What does that little step down mean? Anyway, having rats spread throughout town is payoff enough for me. If there's more to it, I don't know what it is. Interesting sounds coming from Obi. Yeah, he's full of those. They got rid of all those snakes in the diner! The owners were religious. They called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up on the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set traps. Nobody knows where they came from why they moved in, but they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Problem is that snakes are deaf. Ah. That'll do it. door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get the keys to the back door? Greg got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave at work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I am 
think Angus would agree. It's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person! Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible. And has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets. <laughs> Who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you thought this out. Before you came back. They were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. There's apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Did you even see or feel it? Oh, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can like smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes it is. Uh, failed state? That's right, we talked about that at one point. Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I guess not. But still, lots of people would be like, destroyed by what you've been through. My mom was extremely tough and smart. When I found out she was going to die, it didn't it just didn't occur to me that she was fragile. Like we're all fragile. I don't want to let her down, I guess. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm doing free study courses online. I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me! <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together! Yep, fix it right up. We fix that furnace! I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. Ugh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing us, killing the young and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. 
Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like, drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So... at the shop? Uh, yeah. How did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Huh. There's no such thing as a small rat problem. It's just gonna be more of them. Hope springs, rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good. How? Like, can it drive real far? Hey, do you know anything about- what? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. Yeah, it does. We can go where it's really flat. They sell barbecue. And you can see like the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. Oh, I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! I think God already has. There they are! Hey guys. Sup, nerds! Psh, it is you who are the nerds! What? Jeez, we've never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork! Fat chance. Hey, Greg. So... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? This time, yes. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today could possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha! <laughs> Finally you 
admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. Tell his parents he fell down a mine and he got dismembered. Here we go. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good to me. Song and pizza! Yeah, good enough. There it is! There's the game! Thanks so much for joining me, everyone, for this wonderful, wonderful game. Uh, I know we went a little long, but wrapped it all up. I'm so glad there was rat payoff. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you on Thursday when we'll play some more things. I don't know what. Oh wait, let's look at the rest of the, uh, the rest of the, um, art real quick before we go to bed. Oh, a bee. Oh my goodness. Platworthy. Dimitrikopoulos. Dimitrikopoulos, probably. Dimitrikopoulos. It's a cool last name. You'd think I'd never give him any attention, right? Come here! Come here, you big baby! So deprived. So unloved. This boy knows no love. Alright, let's look at the rest of the gallery. See what we hadn't seen before. <laughs> Sharkle. Lucky you're so handsome, because you're a real mess. The frozen lake layout art. The hunter was concepted as some sort of anarchist, survivalist Baba Yaga type character. The king, his advisor, and the ill-fated Stevenson. How have we not unlocked this?
He definitely got the Baba Yaga part. What haven't we done to unlock- oh, maybe Demon Tower, probably. I haven't played all of Demon Tower. Very early sketches. Someone laid a pizza, pizza, a piece of pizza on it at one point. May had a hot dog shirt too. It was wild. Original concept sketch for those guys. You know, those guys. Original art direction pick for Night in the Woods Night. Oh, cool. Original concept sketches for the park investigation with Angus. Crusty sketches. Original sketch of Maeve Wish Dagger outfit. Lori Myers grew out of a doodle and name. Pentagram handshake is based on an actual thing Scott saw in a basement punk show in the late 90s. There's that bombshell. Sketches for the dance sequence with B. B lost in moment. Look at May's different dances. First it was undecided as to whether they would be skeletons or ghosts. You can never have too many skeletons or ghosts. That's true. There are a few labor murals in the game which are references to the amazing WPA murals from the 30s and 40s that you can still find all over the US. Historical Society. Yeah, Alec ordered a burger with a pierogi on it. Pierogi burger. Janitor. Pre beard. Gosh, what a good game. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did. Thanks so much for indulging me in my nonsense voices. And, um, you can check out the next video, whatever it may be, up in the top right. See some more stuff you might like in the bottom right. And subscribe over on the left. Uh, until then, I hope you have a great week and stay frosty. But not too frosty. Uh, and, uh, good night as hell. Hope you get your tail on my face. Seriously.